Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be using these dies from Sizzix or two of these dies from Sizzix and the reason I'm showing you these is that these were a Christmas present for my son but he didn't give them to me until yesterday which was the 27th of May and that's because he lost them in December and while he was dismantling his wardrobe yesterday to decorate his bedroom he found them and came running downstairs and gave them to me. So these are a lovely late Christmas present from my son. So today I'm using a six by six ish inch piece of smooth white cardstock as my card panel. And I placed two of the dies where I wanted them to be and drew very lightly around them in pencil so that I knew where to smush my ink. For my ink smushing, I'm using Tumble Glass Distress Oxide and my smusher. If you want to know how to make and use a smusher, there is a playlist linked in the video description. So I smushed one layer of tumbled glass, dried it with my hair dryer, and then smushed a second layer and set that aside to dry. Next I took another piece of smooth white card and blended on some Uncharted Mariner because I wanted to die cut from this and I wanted it to be significantly darker than the tumble glass so it stood out really well. I wasn't too bothered about getting a perfect blend because I plan to spatter some water on which is what I did next. I used my misting bottle to spray a little bit of water on, picked it up with a paper towel, gave it a good dry with my hair dryer. And then I took some white metallic paint and spattered that on. This paint palette is my hybrid Prima Metallic Accents palette. It's a mixture of paints from the Originals palette and the Pastels palette. Once all that was dry, I used the zigzaggy mixed media line type die to cut from that darker panel. I also cut myself a gold foiled heart using one of the other dies. And while I was sort of playing around with all these bits, I found a white circle that I'd cut in white cardstock that was just hanging around my desk. So I thought, oh, I'll use that. That'll make a good base for my two die cuts. But then I thought, I'll add a bit of something to it. And I used my gold metallic thread and wrapped it round. I did put double-sided tape all over the back of the circle so that as I was wrapping the thread around it stayed stuck where I wanted it and didn't shift around so that tape is just on the back to hold everything in place. I then added some glue to the back of the circle, popped it in the middle of my card panel, then I dipped my zigzaggy dark blue die cut into some glue and then layered that on top of the circle. I pressed that down with some deli paper just to give it a good press and keep my fingers clean and keep the die cut and card clean. I then took the gold foiled heart and dipped that in glue and stuck that on some vellum and used my detail scissors to cut that out because I wanted to put the heart on top of the dark blue die cut but because they're both quite detailed die cuts I think they got a bit lost in each other so the vellum just gives the heart a little bit more solidity and helps it stand out against the background and I do like that frosted translucent look. Next I added a little bit of glue to the back of the die cut and then spread it out with a spreader. I wasn't too concerned about the glue showing through the vellum because there's a lot going on behind this heart and any glue that is visible will just add a bit of texture really. Again I pressed that down with deli paper. Thank you. 
And I wanted to give the edge of my cardstock a bit of definition. So I used my scoreboard to add a scored line along each edge. And I flipped it over so that I was scoring on the back, which meant that the front had the raised part of the scored line, if you see what I mean. I then added glue to that and stuck it to a six by six inch card blank. There is a tiny little white border, which I think again helps set off the card. For my sentiment, I chose one of my cutout strip sentiments. It just says happy birthday. To back it, I used a sliver of the dark blue that I'd used for that zigzaggy mixed media style die. I stuck those together with tacky glue, gave it a good press down with deli paper and then added it on top of the heart. As a finishing touch, I added some small gold foiled cardstock circles that I cut with various dies. I've upgraded my tiny circle storage from a small pot to a larger pot because I had a bit of a die cutting session the other night and cut lots and lots of circles. So I've got lots to choose from when I need them. I just dotted these little circles around to create a bit more flow and give the card some more energy and direction. And that's it, that's this card finished. I'm really pleased with the way this turned out and I really enjoyed using my belated Christmas presents today. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of something you can do with similar dyes and inks and threads in your stash. If you've gleaned anything today, do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.